Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. I thought I'd revisit the whole warp drive thing since it got good views and a lot of good advice and stuff of this nature from um, comment people in the comments. But I really wanted to go back and see if I couldn't make a ship. An actual, honest to goodness, ship. Even if it was itty bitty and didn't have a whole lot of crew if, you know, maybe just one person. If I could make this a useful ship. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. It's already three times the weight as it was when we first tested it. And when we first tested it, it flew like a bat out of hell. But with almost three times its weight, I don't know anymore. It probably won't. Here we go. Contact. Warp drive online. <gasps> oh. Oh shit, wow. There is really no control with this thing. Uh, nope, nope. Oh gosh, it's still on. <laughs> turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> well, if we want an atmospheric warp drive, we're gonna have to put this thing on an actual atmospheric aircraft. Okay, let's do this again. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, contact. <clears throat> well, the lights are not working. <coughs> That's just great. Oh, wait, the back ones are on, but the front ones are off. Whoa, she's, gain she's picking up some speed here. Can I pull up a little bit? Can I pull up a little bit? All right, cool. Warp drive's engaged. <laughs> nice, very nice. Probably creating some serious drag. No, not yet, okay. Not a whole lot of drag yet, okay. Our speed has significantly slowed down a lot. Definitely a space engine and not an atmospheric one by any means or stretch of the imagination but it does have enough power to get the ship out of the atmosphere i'm looking at our speed now it's increasing so that's a good sign let's see what happens oh i forgot to put electric charge on this thing <sighs> let's do that real quick all right let's try this again Alright, for some reason it's pointing down and it's not trying to point up at all. I'm not sure what just happened. We've got power, so why is it suddenly pushing down? What happened? What just happened? It's not trying to get up at all. I have no idea. That was really weird. Keep an eye on this thing. What's going on with that? It looks like it's trying to do it again. I can't pull up. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that it's running out of lift. There's not enough power to actually get into orbit or out of the atmosphere. And it's running out of lift. And so what happens is it doesn't have enough oomph. It's stalling in so many words. That kind of sucks. Let's see if it let's see if it has enough power to just be on its own. And in three, two, one, contact. Uh, hello. That's nice. Okay, test three. Not that it's actually going to work, but we will give it a shot and engage. Nope, 
Looks like uh, it's still having the same effect when I try to get out of the thick atmosphere. She starts to nosedive, even with everything trying to bring her back up. Okay, I think I've had enough of that. Test attempt four? Uh, four, yes. I went ahead and I streamlined the warp engine to make it KSP atmosphere proof. Hopefully, with reduced drag, we'll start speeding up and maybe get out of the atmosphere. If this doesn't work, I have one more trick up my sleeve. So, engage. All right, I just noticed that it's creating a shit ton of drag inside here, so I need to go back and figure out how to keep that from happening. Great, wonderful. That really is too bad that you can't toggle the docking acquire force. I was kind of hoping to hack it. <laughs> oh, well. What? 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 Wait, what? Uh, huh? Alright, let's see if it just suddenly goes backwards again. This ought to be good. No, nope, looks like I fixed it. Whatever it was. Okay, test five. <laughs> Three, two, one. Engage. Hmm, she's working. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hangar bay. <sighs> All right. Let's try this again. Engage. Yeah, I'm not getting it. It's a part count of only 249, but it's acting like it's somewhere in the realm of 8, 900. Well, I'm thinking there's some sort of memory leak or something, because it's it shouldn't be acting like this. So I am going to restart KSP. <sighs> course. All right. Well, finally, it looks like uh, it's n not having a frames per second problem. I had to restart KSP, but there it is. Everyone. Wow. Stock warp drive. Okay. Now, of course, it's the uh, docking port Kraken drive, but hey, we're here to have fun, right? So we're, we're going to pretend it's the stock warp drive. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't travel to uh, some celestial bodies before we end this video. Hold on. Let's, let's test out. What does this do? Okay. So yes, we have regular engines and oh dear that opens up before that one does huh well bummer so in here it's got like a cargo bay to hold a bunch of cargo stuff docking port obvious living quarters it's got stuff inside of it the bridge it's got stuff inside of it primarily a one crew kind of ship but it can support two not sure what it would be really used for other than scouting perhaps or mail delivery that could be a thing i wish part count wasn't a thing because then i could put you know a crap ton in this engine and make it real strong then I could probably make this thing a lot bigger and more useful but hey I'll take it how about we aim for the moon that shouldn't be too hard suppose we should start now huh warp drive engage Golly, that's like that's just like driving down the road to the nearest store. It took 
um, I want to say about 10 minutes real time to go from Kerbin to the Mun. <laughs> I would love to set course for Jewel or something of that nature. I wouldn't say that this is interstellar cap capable, although if you left it on for a long time, I, you probably could reach a good percentage of the speed of light, and then you'd have to turn around halfway and then slow down. Definitely doable, for sure. Not bad at all for like a really primitive type 1 warp drive. <laughs> Not bad at all. Now many of you have asked me to build that ion hack and I have looked it up and it's a, it's a neat little ion drive hack. I would probably label that hack as impulse drive. That, that looks like an impulse drive kind of thing, right? Whereas warp drive, there's no flamey bits coming out the side. Even Gene Ronberry said that his warp drives will never have flamey bits coming out the side. They're coming out the back. Excuse me, not the side, but the back. Which in Discovery, I think they had the one of the shuttlecrafts have a bunch of flamey bits. Ah, don't even get me started on that show. Anyway, hopefully Brave New Worlds, when it comes out, does Star Trek justice again. Because Discovery, I'm sorry, for me personally, mm, they killed the Klingons for me. They turned them into vampires instead of space Vikings. They really went against a lot of the lore and tried to create their own. They just dropped a whole bunch of stuff. Like, they didn't realize that back in the day before Captain Kirk there was no replicators yet they're just pumping them out a lot of stuff and don't don't let me get on my don't let me get on my soapbox please but I am a very lore heavy kind of person when it comes to Star Trek so hopefully the brave new worlds with Captain Pike will help set all that straight we'll see but anyways everyone I love you so much thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video I'm thinking about actually doing a live stream in a little maybe a week or two from now i'm not too sure what it would be about maybe we'd actually i actually think maybe we should take something like this for a spin and see if we can't go to jewel and land on lathe or something of that nature that'd be kind of cool maybe tweak it a little bit or whatnot but uh i'm all out of time i gotta go take care everybody and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye